National Toy Hall of Fame. These are the nominees. Hold on. To Kid enter. Toys? Yes. Okay. <laughs> to enter the National Toy Hall of Fame. These are the nominees. You pick the one you think should be inducted. Okay. The Pogo Stick. That's a great toy. It's a great toy. I don't know if it's still relevant, though. It, I agree. My Little Pony. Okay. Transformers. Okay. Pez Dispensers. That's it? Those are your options. Those are the nominees. Oh, this like, is I'm not making this up. Is there an actual This is so like, real. You only get five inductees a year? Uh, I don't know what that is? is. I just know the because story I read. Are Legos not? Are they already in it? They or? may already be in. All I know is that for this year, the nominees are My Little Pony, Transformers, The Pogo Stick, and Pez Dispensers, and only one's going to get in. When I read it, I had an immediate no-brainer, you got to choose this particular one for me. Yeah, There's guess, a close second, but it's a it no-brainer for me. If you're a girl or a boy as well, My Little Pony was... Big. All of them are big. Massive. All of them are worthy nominees. I mean, for I, when I was a kid, I loved the pogo stick when I was a kid. Yeah. Worthy nominees. But uh, I don't know. Who'd you pick? Pest dispensers. That's not a toy. That's stupid, Rick. Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Rex, of course. <laughs> it's was, a nominee. That wasn't even in the consideration for me. Why? That was just... A, that's Honestly, a Pez dispenser is not a toy. It's just a weird... Vessel. I think those who collect the Pez dispensers would completely disagree and with you. And collector's items aren't toys. Toys you have to play with. Okay, so. You don't play with Pez dispensers. You just. It's the Toy Hall of Fame has nominated it, and you're saying it's not a toy. I don't care. That's like saying the Golden Globes. Not, I don't care what the Golden Globes nominates. <laughs> it's like saying well, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame nominated these people. Oh, really? So they so don't the deserve to be nominated. the first time I've nominated. ever heard of the Toy Hall of Fame, yeah. they're equal to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. They are experts in toys. No. Yes! Hey, welcome back to our stupid director, Corbin. He's dumb. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to our viewers on Patreon. Follow us on Twitter, subscribe, like button. Uh, you like the pogo stick because when you fell on it awkwardly, it went right up your butt. <laughs> sure. Uh, today we got a new Tamil trailer. It's called Japan. Really? Yeah. Uh, That's and, weird because yeah, yeah. the Japanese film industry just released a film called India. You mean Bharat? Uh, but it's with uh, Karthi and Anu and Emmanuel and Sanu. Uh, I don't know anything else about this. I just know it just All came right. out in terms of the teaser here. So, cool. Uh, well, let's dive uh, in. Let's dive in and see what we can see. With our fellow Demillions. Ah! <laughs> oh, that's cool. I like that. Damn. <laughs> I don't know what it has to do with Japan. Oh, uh, nothing other than that that's the character's name that he he is he's named Japan. No. Has way. nothing to do with Japan. No way. Yeah. No way. Yeah. Um, I think the that, the teaser made it pretty clear. He is Japan. I like the uh I like his look in this though. He's very uh 70s 80 esque 
in it. Um, per capita, I feel like Damo has more crime dramas than any other. I, I think you're right. But criminal and police. At least that we've been exposed to, I would say that's probably very true. If I were betting on that, I would bet on the Damo, Damo It feels like Damo, specific, I mean, I know they all do it a lot. Yeah, like, of course. Crime it's drama is very, very common. Very popular. But I feel like Damo especially likes the underworld versus cop. Yeah. Don dynamics. Yeah. Um, sorry, I'm trying to find it here. That was not the one. I bet you can find it, this it? maybe quicker if you look up. Yes. That's it. This is it. Um, directed by <laughs> Plot Under Wraps. Plot Under Wraps. <laughs> Comes out Diwali. Uh with Carthy, uh, who we've seen in Pony and Selvin, mm -hmm. which he looks very different in this. Very different. Than he does in Pony yeah, that, and Selvin. That, for me, is the one takeaway of, if I didn't know it was him, I wouldn't know it was him. Um, that's the one takeaway for me. Um, oh, that's not the only, obviously, we, we also saw him in the Lokesh film, Gaithi. Right, but this is the was, first of the yeah. uh, installments of the uh, this is, uh, LCU. Yeah, this is... PS1 was the most recent thing. PS2 was actually the most Sorry, recent Sorry, yeah, thing. PS2. Idiot. Yeah. Uh, I thought it looked cool. Like, the stylized version of it looked pretty cool. I don't, obviously, you don't know much about it, except it looks kind of crime thriller-esque. Uh, I thought a lot of the shots were really cool. Like, Yeah, he's, it clearly, there's crimes that have been taking place that have his signature on it. He's brazen, and there you have it, and there it is. Brazen? Yep. Why'd you choose that word? Because that would not be the first word I'd come to when I was when I just saw that. I was like, he's brazen. A brazen criminal. What's brazen mean? A brazen criminal is someone who does what they do out in the public. They're not hiding it, and they're proud of it, and they dare you to catch them. That's what brazen means? Correct. Brazen no means way. outlandishly, flamboyantly, unapologetically I brazen. out in the open. B-R-A-Z-E-N. Brazen definitely. Outlandish, unapologetic. He went about his illegal business with... No, that's just the sorry. Bold and without shame. Where's the actual bold and without shame? Oh, sorry, I was just reading the uh, in the no. sentence under each of them. <laughs> you were doubting my understanding of the word brazen. Yes, I doubt your understanding of most things, Rick. I was honors English in college. Why would I not know the use of the word brazen? You went to college. Yeah. Doesn't show. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> well, it does because. No. What you looked up in doubting the definition Rick, was accurate. A broken clock is right twice a day. <laughs> Unless the hands are falling off like yours. <laughs> Burn! Get wrecked. Uh, yes, you got the definition of brazen. Congratulations. No one cares, Rick. Stop talking you about it. You did care. You Stop challenged me and you lost. Brazen. Idiot. Um... I'm disappointed you don't know what the word brazen means. I know what the word brazen is. It just wouldn't be the first thing that came to mind when I heard, when I thought about him. Brazen. I think, do you not think he was bold and outlandish? Sure. Okay, there you go. But I would have said that. <laughs> okay. You know what uh, grinds my gears? Off topic here. What's that? Kind of off topic. Not really off topic. What's that? Though. Words that you could just use regular words for that mean something... You mean you don't you you? It really bothers you when people use a vocabulary that's beyond just the normal vernacular of the day in day Depends out. Depends on, on vocabulary. Yeah, Depends I understand on the vocabulary. That. You're, you're, I like understand if there's that. random fancy words that you should just say the normal word. Why? Like brazen. Why, Rick? You're a brazen idiot. Did I use that correctly? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you I did. So. Uh, I, I, and I would concur. You like that word? That's not a fancy word. Concur. It is. Concur is not a fancy sure word. Sure it is. The other word to use that would be more common in the vernacular would be agree. No. You don't have a problem with concur, but you have a co you have a problem with brazen. This director directed uh, Joker. Not the Joker. Not the Joker. Joker. No, no, no. He yeah. apparently directed a film in 2016 called Joker, though, mm. uh, which is where... Who directed Joker? I'm forgetting his name. Uh, uh, yeah, I see his face. Good grief. <laughs> Why am I forgetting his name? Please. I know. Um... Ugh. Please look it up. It's driving me nuts right now because I see this his one face. or the other one. No, no, no. The, the <laughs> this one was first. <laughs> the Todd Phillips. Thank you, Todd, Todd Phillips. Phillips. Yes. Uh, technically, this other Joker was in 2016. So, um, anyways, yeah. You guys, let us know what you thought about the teaser. If you're looking forward to this, if you like it, if you thought it was brazen or not. 
Uh, Not the trailer itself, but the character itself. Because the trailer itself wasn't brazen. I feel, like Japan the tra- I feel like the trailer was actually more brazen, Rick, okay, if we're being honest. No. I'm just being a dick now. Uh, now? <laughs> oh, always. I'm just more dickish sometimes than others. <laughs> I would always consider myself a brazen dick. Am I, I, right? I would absolutely concur. Actually, that's what they call me. Yeah. The brazen dick. The brazen dick. <laughs> Sounds like a pub. No more bearded bastard. <laughs> the brazen dick. <laughs> hey, I'll meet you guys at the brazen dick. <laughs> This is, uh, reaction was more about the brazen dick. Than it was. The, uh, the it was. actual trailer. Sorry. Get a tattoo on your penis that says brazen. Oh, they know. When they pull them down, they're like, wow. When you're flaccid, it'll say brr. Sorry. <laughs> let us know. Oh, for <laughs> Garthy as well, uh, let us know what his next film should be. We've seen, I think, I think only three. Kaithi, PS1 and 2, and... I think there was another one, but I, I think I'm forgetting it. But for, for him, what should be his yeah. next film? What you yeah. thought about this teaser yeah. down below? Josh!